Chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. Uh, today we have a TLV2761, a low voltage op amp, a very special low voltage op amp. This thing will operate down to 1.8 volts, single rail, <laughs> 1.8 volts. And they chose that 1.8 volts for a particular reason, or at least they got down then and then they figured out a reason to, <laughs> reason to have it. But it says here you can, uh, uh, the highest you can go is 3.6 volts. So you can like have two AA batteries. And then when they finally go to end of life, you'll, you'll be down to about 1.8 volts. So it allows you to use your battery down to the very, very last little nubbin. Um, it's not the greatest op amp in the world, but hey, it's an op amp and it works at 1.8 volts, single rail, rail to rail. Uh, yeah, it's pretty special. It's got, uh, what's not being used, at, you know, switching is just sitting there at 10 nano amps. That's pretty wild. Uh, yeah, but it's only a 500 kilohertz uh, part, so ain't gonna get, ain't gonna get much speed out of it. So I don't, th the data sheet's pretty lengthy. I mean, there's lots and lots of stuff going on in here, but I thought we'd just play with it. Uh, so, uh, I have it here. Move my camera. So I just have it set up in a um, non-inverting one-to-one buffer. I've taken the output and uh, shorted that to the uh, negative input. And then we're going to be inputting on the positive input. Look at the output. So it's just a unity gain non-inverting buffer. Okay. And so let's put some power on it. We're going to start out here at three volts. So three volts power, and uh, let's see here. All right, there we go. Uh, let's get a sine wave, uh, and then we could take a look at it here. I have it set up so it's examining the peak to peak. So we have a one volt. So I have, I'm using the uh, generator in the oscilloscope. I'm generating a one kilohertz sine wave with a one volt amplitude, and we're measuring 1.03. Um, and then I have an offset of 600 millivolts. So instead of oscillating around ground, I've moved it up since it's a single ended op amp, we need to be, everything needs to be above ground. So, uh, there we go. And it is working. So we have, uh, a one volt signal and we have a, you can just barely see it in camera there. We have a, uh, right there, three volts, uh, three volt supply. Let's take it down here. 2.3 volts looks the same. 2.08 looks the same. 1.85 looks the same. Let's if I can dial it right into 1.7955. So look at that. You have an op amp running at 1.8 volts single rail. That's just stupid. <laughs> All right, let's change the frequency here. Let's go to a 10 kilohertz and see how she does. Wow, perfect. Okay, let's see, let's go to uh, 100 kilohertz. We should start to, yeah, see, we're starting to get uh, into the bad zone of this thing. It's like I said, it's not a very fast op amp. So we're getting these uh, bad, bad things happening here at the bottom. Uh, we could take it up I think we take the offset up a little bit and see if that helps. No, it doesn't help. Does not help. Does not help. We'll put the offset back to 0.6 volts. All right. Um, so we need to lower the frequency. Let's do, oh, let's do 50 kilohertz. Oops. Five hertz. <laughs> 50 kilohertz. There we go. Yeah, see, it's fine. Um, so yeah, it's just not a very fast part, but for, you know, audio work and things like that, it's going to be great. Um, it does have some crossover distortion. Um, so let's go back to, let's see here. Well, we can do other things. We could do a uh, ramp. Ramp's working great. Uh, let's take it back to 10 kilohertz. Some nice little range for it. 10 kilohertz. There we go. Uh, let's do a sync pulse. That's fine. Let's do a uh, ECG. There you go. Let's trigger around here. Move my trigger point up. Oops, too far. 
There we go. So yeah, so it's nice, right? It's it's a nice little nice little op amp. Um, and we're operating, like I said, we're operating right now at 1.8 volts. So pretty, pretty cool. Now let me show you this crossover distortion though. It's not, it's not all a panacea. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, do this. Let's go back to a square wave. Uh, square wave, okay. And is it square wave? Did I, oops, I turned it off. Ah, what's it doing? I hit the wrong buttons here. There we go, square wave. All right, so we have a square wave. And if I zoom in, you can see that we're kind of slew rate limited in a weird way. So we have two microseconds per division. So we have about a four microsecond rise time on this edge. And it's kind of like got a kink in the middle. It's kind of weird. Um, if we take a look at the falling edge, uh, it's not so bad. Falling edge is kind of roundy a little bit. Fun little thing there, fun little thing there, but hey, you couldn't, can't argue with those too much. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see, we can go either way. Um, so yeah, it, the rising edge is just a bit weird. Just a bit weird. Anyway, don't know why that is, but hey, it works down to 1.8 volts, so, you know, <laughs> you get what you get. So, put a graph, they must be proud of this, so the supply voltage current is only about 16 micro, micro amps, so it's great for battery-powered applications. I mean, that's really what this thing is targeted for, is a battery-powered universal op-amp EVM. I don't know what EVM is. Um, it's, it's, it's a strange package too. Uh, it's an eight pin SOIC. So th this is the one that we're using and no connects on one, eight and five VDD and ground and then the op amp. So it's a single, single op amp. You do have a, a dual app, dual version and they do have a, uh, we have a quad version, so there you go. Uh, I kind of like uh, this one because uh, it's, you know, these are teeny tiny little packages. These are like SO23-5 or I don't know what those things are called. Anyway, those little, those little things look like transistors, but they have five legs on them. So that would be a cool thing to have. Yeah, I don't know. Fun little part. Tip of the day is a TLV2761. Low power op amp, low voltage op amp. 